Let's say it is late at night time, you're driving home, you're a young woman on your own and away you go and you see it's a dark street and you get pulled over and there's a cop. And it, you got to actually it becomes use become streetwise. You got to use your savvy. You got to say let's use common sense in this situation. You have a look first of all. You grab your phone. You go to your WhatsApp. Choose a friend's uh, WhatsApp um, profile and just press the record button on the WhatsApp. And this message will just be recording. It won't be waking your friend up, but it will be recording the situation. So then you say, good evening, officer. Now, by the time the guy's walking up, you can actually see by the body language of the cop what is actually happening, how many there are. So you can, first thing you do is you record his registration number on the car. And you say where you are, and then you look for the signal, the sign language on the, on the side of the, of the vehicle. It's painted on. So they can't change that too easily. And you, you record that too. Then you roll the window down this far, and then you start, you say, good evening, officer. Now, a good indication to see whether this cop is legit or not is the, the name badge. If the guy has his badge on, you know he's a good cop. If he doesn't have his badge on, the chances are that he's going to try and extort something from you. Because why doesn't he have a badge on? Because he doesn't want to be identified. All right. So then you, you roll it down, you say, excuse me, officer, do you mind? I'm not feeling too happy about this. And you be very submissive and, and very polite because you're gonna, they're going to mirror your attitude. So if you go in there aggressively, they're going to come back at you aggressively. So you, you speak to the guy very nicely and gently and, 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 and clearly. And you say, what, how can I help you? And he's going to say, have you been drinking? You can say whatever you want to. You can tell him the answer. You say, I'm not feeling comfortable here. Can we drive to a filling station where we can talk from there? And if he says no, then you say, well, then I'm driving to a police station. Okay. And we know that sometimes that's like driving to the lion's den. But anyway, that's better than sitting out there in the middle of nowhere. So then you drive through, but in the meantime, while you're driving there, you, 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 you can let go of that recording. That recording will go off your phone, it will end up in your, your friend's like, inbox in the morning or when she hears it, she sees there's a message from you. She's now heard the situation, she knows where you are, everything about your situation. So that's at least a place to begin, all right? We, we now identify who the cop is and away you go. You go to a filling station, the best thing to do when you get there is park underneath a camera. So you can now get video footage on you as well. And you do the same thing again. You go to your WhatsApp and you press your little button on there and you start recording.